Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question which is related to a scenario uh, that if you have installed SQL Server instance with Windows authentication mode and later on you want to change it to mix mode which is SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication mode, how would you do that and does it require SQL Server services to restart? Uh, to answer this question, yes, you can change authentication mode of SQL Server later on um, and it does not require uh, SQL Server services to restart and I'm gonna quickly show you how it's done so I'm gonna go in the server where my SQL Server is installed here's my management studio here's my SQL Server instance I'm going to right click on the instance SQL Server instance and go to properties if you this is the property window of SQL Server uh, instance you click on security and you will see the server authentication uh, there are two modes one is Windows authentication mode and other is uh, SQL Server and Windows authentication mode also known as mixed mode so if you have installed SQL Server just in Windows authentication mode this option would be selected what this means is that uh, it will only accept the users on uh, active uh, if they are created on uh, Active Directory side it you will not be able to uh, create a, a SQL Server user but uh, uh, it's always a good idea especially best practices in production that you select SQL Server Windows authentication uh, SQL Server and Windows authentication mode also known as mixed mode so just to answer this question uh, you can just go ahead and do it and you do not need to restart the SQL Server services I hope it helps